Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the C programming series. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at variable scope. Now, this is actually a video that you guys requested, uh, essentially uh, wanting me to explain how the variable scope works in the sense of how do you declare global variables, local variables and parameters or formal parameters as they are also known as so when we're talking about uh, variable declaration and initialization, let me just let's start off with that before we actually move on to local variables and global variables. So when you talk about variable declaration and initialization, it's as simple as, as the following. So when we're talking about declaring a following, so when we're talking about declaring a variable, we have int a and we do not give it a, a value. All right. So that means it's uninitialized. So if we try and print, uh, print it out or we try and use it in a function or use it in any, in any, any type of way, it's not going to have any value assigned to it. Now, when it comes down to initialization, this is when we say, uh, int a equals, you know, int a equals 20 or, you know, we, we give it a value. All right. So that is declaration and initialization. Now, when we talk about local variables and global variables, local variables are variables that are declared inside a particular function and cannot be used by other functions. So let me give you a very simple example. Let me say int a uh, equals 20. So I've initialized this variable and then I say print f. Uh, or I can actually just use it like so and I create another function and I say int print and I do not pass any parameters through it and I say right over here print f I want to print out the um, the value of int a and I just say a here now this is not going to work because as, as mentioned this is a local variable meaning it is declared and initialized within a function and that means it cannot be used in another function so let me just compile and run this just to see just to show you what you'll uh, you'll see. So you can see right here, if you take a look at the errors you get, a, a is undeclared, and this is the first use in this function. So this, this uh, variable here is locally declared and cannot be used uh, in any other function. All right, so that is a very simple example of, uh, of a local variable. And of course, if I, well, you might, you might be wondering saying, well, you haven't really called that function. So if I just call it just to show you that it does work, so if I call the function, or actually that is not printf, that is simply print, and we try and compile and run this, you'll see you'll still get the same error. All right, so we can get rid of the function call, and uh, that is the simple example. So this will work within uh, the function in which the variable was declared and initialized. So if I rebuild all, and let me, uh, there we are, there we are, we get the value 20. All right, so that works perfectly. Now when we talk about global variables, Global variables are again very simple to understand. Uh, these are variables that are declared and defined outside the functions at the, at usually at the top when I do it over here. And they can be accessed by any of the functions if you actually choose to use them within the functions. All right. So let me show you a simple example of how this goes. So I'm just going to get rid of uh, all of this data here and we'll still keep the other function. And now I'll globally declare some variables. It's usually done after you've included your standard libraries or your libraries. Uh, sorry. So when you talk about global variables, let me just initialize a one more time and I give it a value of 50, for example. All right. So that is a global variable, meaning I can use this variable right over here uh, inside any of these functions. And let me show you how that is done. So I'll also uh, declare and initialize some local variables here. Let me just add some comments. So this is a global variable. And uh, let me just give it some spacing. And then right over here, we'll declare some local uh, variables, local variables. And I'm going to say int b is equal to 30. All right. And another thing that you guys wanted to know is uh, the state of change of the variables value as the program is executed. The program is executed from the top to the bottom. And of course, it starts off with the with the uh, main function. But what I'm trying to say is if if the value of int a over here is 50 uh, and I can use it in, in any of the functions, I can give it a new value at any time. So I can say over here, a is equal to, well, I can actually just say a and a is equal to a uh, 100. All right. And then if I try and print out the value right here, print f. And this is an example of how I can use this variable now in any of the function that you will see indeed it does work. All right. So this is uh, of that data type. It's an integer and uh, we're printing out int a here. 
So let's see if this does work. All right. So I'm just going to compile and run this. And as you can see, it's going to give us the new value of 100. Now, if in this case, we would have just said int a and not given it any value or simply just used it right over there. Let me just compile and run this. You can see, well, we get the value of 44, which is really weird. And I think I know what, uh, what the issue is here. So if we say, for example, int a, let me just add this. Uh, sorry, there we are. And uh, let's just compile and run this. Uh, and we get an error. All right. Yes, I know what the issue is. And I'll, I'll get to that in a second. So when it comes down to using any of the other variables inside any of the other, of the other functions, let me explain how this is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that as it is. And I'll explain why in a second uh, so that I can explain this really clearly. Also get rid of the print function. So we have our global variable and our local variable. So int a is declared, is declared globally, uh, int b is declared uh, within the main function. So what I'm going to do now is if I go into the print function right over here and we say, for example, print f and um, we say uh, that is going to be uh, and we simply call the variable a right over here and we say print, for example, what you will see is, well, first of all, we have to call the function, which is quite important, as you would imagine. So print uh, and like so. All right. So now if you are going to initialize the variable or use it with a different value in in a function, and this I'm talking about global variables, you need to give it a new value. Uh, if you want to simply use it in a calculation, you, you can simply call it directly as follows. You do not have to initialize it one more time. That was what I was trying to explain. And as you can see right over here, it prints it out for us. We get the value of int a, which is 50. So the reason I was getting an error here is because I'd initialized it and given uh, and given it a null value. I'd not given it any value. And so it assumed that I'm, I'm not, I've given it a new uh, p a new value because again as I mentioned it's declared all the values are given uh, as the code is executed all right so that is uh, th those are global variables and of course I can use as many as I want so I can say int c is equal to you know 500 or we can yeah we can use 500 here uh, and I can simply print out uh, right before this I can say print f and I simply use the you know, the d command there and oops sorry about that guys uh, and I simply type out the variable C like so. And that should execute the value of C first and then the value of uh, and, and then the, the, the value of A. So let me just compile and run this. And there we are. We get 550 or yeah, there we are. So we get what is printed out first. And that's the important thing. So if I would have declared this first, uh, the, the uh, if I would have declared or called the function before this print statement, then I would have got the value of A. All right. So that is essentially global and local variable uh, declaration and initializations. All right. So let me just close this, all of these uh, currently open programs here. And now let's, let's take a look at parameters. All right. Parameters are extremely important in, uh, in C and in any other programming language, really. And uh, you might have heard me mention that we declare our parameters uh, within the function initialization. Uh, all right. So all the, within the function definition, as it's so called. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of all of this data here. Or we can leave the variables as they are and we'll get rid of the print statements here. Um, so we are going to create a very simple program. We have two variables. We'll get rid of the C because I'm going to use that right now or we actually won't use it. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we have a global variable, local variable. I'm going to show you how we can use both of them. So when you're talking about um, when you're talking about performing calculations, what, well, one thing I can do is let me just rename this function here to sum. And we're simply going to have a, a, a simple program that will add the values of a and b. So within the main function, I'm going to again declare another local variable and I'll show you where parameters come into play. All right. Now, the, the important thing with parameters is they are declared within the function definition and they get their values when the function is called. So it's very important to understand that this will really depend on function calls. All right. So let, uh, with that out of the way, you can get started. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another variable called int total, and I'm not going to give it any value. All right. Now int total, we're going to initialize after this, and we're going to use it for the function call. Now that's very important because 
after we've called the, the function and then we, we can also uh, we can get the sum from uh, from the uh, from the function sum and uh, once we have passed the parameters through it I'll show you what this means so for now we leave that as it is and when we talk about uh, variable uh, sorry parameters they are declared within here so we can call upon we can say int a we're going to use that within the function and we use a comma to separate it and now we say int b but you you must be wondering well why are we actually using parameter in b if it is a local vari variable and that would not work if this function was not called by this function right over here by the main function that actually has the value of b and uh, this is where we, we actually perform our function call so i'll show you this right now so uh, in here, we can simply return the value of a and b, which is pretty much what, what this function will do. So you can choose to do the addition here, or you can simply just return a plus b. All right, and that is going to return the value uh, to uh, and when the function is called back. So now we can store the the, the return or the, the, the value uh, of, of this function and what it returns into a variable. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say total is equal to, and the function called, so sum and we specify uh, the uh, the variables here without their data type as we already know them because they've already been initialized and we do not need to actually initialize them once more. That'll cause or give you an error. All right, and now since we have the total, we can then choose to print out the total. So we can say print F and we can then specify the, the data type there and we provide the variable itself, which is total, which stores the uh, the value of the function right over here the function itself just returns the value of a and b all right so that should print out all the information we need so we are expecting an answer of 50 uh, sorry 50 plus 30 that is 80 all right so let me just compile and run this and as you can see the value returned there is 80 and of course these can be changed uh the, the values can be changed uh, so that you can experiment with it all right, so that is pretty much what I wanted to cover in variable scope. Hopefully this clears out all the doubts that you had about uh, variable declaration, initialization, local variables, uh, global variables, and parameters. So now that we've actually taken a look at parameters really, really well, we can now move on to memory management, which is quite the uh, exciting stuff. So if you found value in this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on my website and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.